Assalamu alaikum welcome to Nasir Soft. In this video we will talk about the insertion sort analysis, the pseudocode of insertion sort, how insertion sort works and what is the time complexity of the insertion sort. So first we will talk about how insertion sort works. For example I have an array that is this one and the array have five element okay and inside the array one index or zero index you say that the element is two then ten then one then three and then eleven so I want to sort this array in descending order so descending order means that the topmost element of an uh, of this array for example the topmost element is 11 so 11 should be came first then 10 then 3 then 2 and at last 1 so the minimum value should be placed at rightmost and the maximum value should be placed from the leftmost and in descending order the maximum then minimum then its minimum then minimum and the minimum okay so what insertion sort says the insertion sort says that just pick the first element okay for example if I say and the check the element to its next element okay and for example I will start from the this index okay from the one index so basically why I not start from this this index basically the insertion sort says that pick up an element okay and compare its its previous value okay previous means that left side and check what is the correct position of that value and place it in its correct position okay for example we have a cards five cards and we want when we uh, pick up a six uh, one card then we place it by sorting it in left side okay or maintaining the sub left side list okay so for example this is very simple let's start so we start from the one index okay here and we check the left first i named this one okay index one okay for our satisfaction and this is index two okay so i not named it index zero you can but it is confusing so therefore i just name it the index one then two then three then four and five index okay so now i am inside the index two and i check whether it value that is of index two that is 10 is greater than the two or not yes it is greater than so i swap the both of the value okay so in the next set step okay i again read all the array and 10 is swapped with the 2 so 10 came at one index and then 2 and the remaining elements place as it is 11 okay so you see that 10 is swapped with the 2 so now our counter is moved to the index 3 2 is done so now index 3 here so now the 1 so we check the 1 with its previous value okay so basically this is the right side and after the uh, before this index this is all the left side we should maintain the left side sorting sorted okay as a descending order so first we compare the one with its previous value that is two okay so one is less than two so two is in right place okay and we also check the when we compare the one with ten also so when is also less than ten so it means that our left side is already descending order sorted so we move, uh, move toward the next that is three so I again draw the array okay this is ten then then 1 then 3 and then 11 okay so our counter is now inside the 3 
that is the fourth index okay so now we check the value of 3 with its previous value first we compare the 3 with 1 3 is greater than 1 so it should be swap so in this step I again redraw the array okay 10 as it is 2 as it is and 3 is swapped with its previous value that is 1 so here 3 came and then 1 and 11 okay so now basically I said before then whatever value whatever of uh, our index is at an value okay so we compare it or maintain the left all array sorted so first it swap with the 3 but it also check in next step that this value that is 3 with the its previous value so now it's uh, you see that 3 is also greater than 2 so it must be swap here okay so we must maintain the left side of the counter sorted okay so in next step 3 is swap with the 2 10 is as it is and 3 swap with the 2 3 then 2 and 1 and 11 remains same okay so now 3 should be checked the left most value that is 10 so we are here okay if I again explain we are here and we check the counter value that is 3 with all the left sided value and place 3 in its right position in short term okay so now 3 should be checked with 10 and 3 is all uh, less than 10 so it is in right position so now we can move to the counter of the last value to the last value okay so now our counter is in last value okay so this is 11 and we check with the previous value then 11 is greater than 1 so it must be swap okay so now the array shape is like that this is 10 then 3 then 2 and 11 is swap with its previous value and here 11 came and then 1 okay so now here again 11 should be check with its previous value now 11 check with its previous value that is 2 so we check 11 with all the left sided values and maintain the left side sorted so 11 is checked with 2 now and it says that 11 should be swapped with the 2 basically 11 is greater than 2 so now the array shape is like that 3 and 2 and 11 is swap 11 is here then 2 and then 1 so now 11 is here so 11 we check its previous value so 11 is greater than its previous value so it must be swap okay so I again read Adi here 10 11 is swap with 3 then here 11 3 2 and 1 so 11 should be checked with the left value now so 11 is greater than 10 so 11 again swap with the 10 so the concept of insertion on uh, is very simple so whatever you move a counter okay whatever a position of our counter okay we place it with the left uh, we place it in its right position by checking its left side okay so the left side must be sorted so here 11 swap with the its previous value that is 10 so 10 here then 11 then 3 2 and 1 you see that the array is sorted in descending order okay or same the concept of if you want the array sorted in ascending order okay so hope you will understand so now let's see its pseudocode and time complexity this is the pseudocode of insertion sort and we have an outer for loop and it starts from the two index and goes from the length of the uh, array or every time it incremented and we have a key variable and inside the array of one index we place it inside the key and a j index okay uh, that is a counter basically and that start from the one less than i okay we have a while loop whenever the while loop execution it whenever j is greater than or equal to zero and array of j is less than key so basically it uh, sh sh uh, be when this condition becomes true then it swap the value or next value with the previous one okay until unless 
j is less than equal to zero and this condition fail okay so basically it swap the array in descending order okay if you want to swap the array in ascending order this just change this less than sign with the greater than okay so let's see it time complexity so first this is the for condition okay and it start from the 2 and goes to the n okay the, that is the length of uh, the array so whenever the, this for execution so this for is executed by n minus 1 time okay so this execution is basically n not n minus 1 so why this is not n n minus 1 basically one more time it takes okay whether the uh, condition this for loop condition becomes wrong so it will check so therefore the time complexity of this one is for example i name it c1 and it is n time okay not n minus 1 why basically it check the at the last time when i is equal to for example the, there is a five element in the array and at last when i is equal to six now is check that okay, whether this condition becomes true or not okay so wrong this case so it will check two so therefore this is n okay so this is this is i name it c2 and basically this is the time com the complexity is n minus one okay one time less than the outer and this uh, statement that is counter of i so this is also n minus one i name it c3 and its complexity is also n minus one okay so now this loop that is the while loop okay so it will execute it as j is one time less than when i is equal to if i talk about this loop whenever this loop is executed so this is very simple so here i map this is i and this is j okay when i is equal to we start from the 2 when i is equal to 2 then j is equal to j uh, this loop executed as i minus 1 j okay and j is equal to 1 minus 1 less than i that is equal to 1 so this loop executed 1 and 0 also include 2 time that is equal to first 1 value of, and then 1 decrement the value okay so here basically here uh, one line i missed that is j minus minus okay so decrement the j at the last of the swapping okay so this line i missed that is j minus minus so j is executed two times okay so when i is equal to three then j executed three times that is start from the j two then two one zero so three times this loop executed that is two one and zero okay so when i is equal to four it mean that the loop executed j is equal to three okay so three two one and zero okay i assume this condition is true so i just makes the time complexity of worst condition okay so when i is equal to four j is executed this loop is executed as three two one and zero four time okay so so on when i i is equal to five then this loop executed four three two one and zero five time okay so basically i start from the two and every time i check that i executed this one okay so i named this loop okay as c4 time complexity and its time complexity is basically 
for whatever the value of it based on the value of i so when the greater the value of i so it executed with the greater time okay so i named its summation for example start from the 2 and end from the n so i just name it a regular expression inside a regular expression then it start from the 2 and ending from the n and here i name it t of j okay okay so you will see that the constant c4 executed this piece of time okay and this one same executed that is name i name it c5 and it executed by one time less than the this one so summation of i start from the 2 n okay and t of j one time less minus one and same this line that is c6 and summation of 2 to n t of j minus one and same this line that is c7 submission of i is equal to 2 and t of j minus 1 and this line 2 that is j minus minus degree minus okay i name it c8 for example and this is submission of 2 and t of j minus 1 okay so this all are the time complexity of this algorithm okay the overall time complexity is i name it t of n in worst case okay when this loop executed t of n that is equal to c1 of n plus c2 of n minus 1 plus c3 of n minus 1 okay plus c4 that is summation of i start from the 2 to n and t of j plus c5 that is summation of i is equal to 2 to n t of j minus 1 okay plus c6 that is same as submission of i is equal to 2 to n t of j minus 1 plus submission 7 that is same i is equal to 2 to n t of j minus 1 plus c of 8 okay that is similar submission i is equal to 2 start to n t of j minus one okay so the overall time complexity is c1 of n plus if i multiply this one c2 of n minus c2 plus c3 of n if i multiply this one minus c3 plus so this is c4 n when what is this expression means I start from the 2 to n t of j okay so basically you see that you see that so before going to explain this summation formula okay this one so let's understand this one okay so when i is equal to 2 then this loop executed two times okay so when i is equal to for example 1 then this loop executed one time if i is equal to 2 then this is executed 1 0 then 2 time and if i is equal to 3 then it executed 2 1 0 3 time okay so so if i is equal to 4 then it executed 4 time and if i is equal to 5 then it will execute it the loop executed 5 time so it's mean that when i is equal to 1 it executed one time i is equal to becomes 2 then it executed two times this loop when i is equal to 3 then it executed three times when i is equal to n minus 1 then it will execute it n minus 1 time 
सो इन मैथमेटिक्स दिस सीरीज इज जस्ट एक्सप्रेस इन दिस मैथमेटिकल एक्सप्रेशन दैट इज एन इन टू एन प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू सो आई जस्ट नेम दिस हेयर दिस दैट इज आई इक्वल टू टू फ्रॉम एन एंड टी ऑफ जे ओके सिमिलर दैट दिस वन दैट इज बट नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट हेयर इन साइड दिस आउटर फॉर लूप सो द एन इज शुड बी एन माइनस वन सो बेसिकली द इनर फॉर इन साइड द ऑल दिस एलिमेंट ऑफ इनर फॉर लूप एग्जीक्यूटेड एन माइनस वन टाइम सो आई जस्ट नेम द एन टू एन माइनस वन ओके सो हेयर इन एट द प्लेस ऑफ एन आई जस्ट राइट एन माइनस वन ओके दिस इज एन एंड अगेन इन थ्रू दिस एन द वैल्यू इज एन माइनस वन एंड देन प्लस वन ओके एंड डिवाइडेड बाई टू सो सिमिलरली आई प्लेस एट सी फाइव दैट इज दिस वन प्लस सी फाइव दैट इज वन माइनस वन सो सिमिलरली दिस वन एंड लास्ट माइनस वन दैट इज एन माइनस वन एन प्लस वन सॉरी एन माइनस वन प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू एंड हेयर दिट इज माइनस वन माइनस वन प्लस सी सिक्स सिमिलर सी सिक्स दैट इज एन माइनस वन इंटू एन माइनस वन प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू माइनस वन एंड सिमिलरली फॉर सी सेवन एंड सी एट ओके सो नाउ आई रिजॉल्व दिस वन दैट इज सी वन एन t of n that is c1 of n plus c2 of n minus c2 plus c3 of n minus c3 okay plus c4 and in inside c4 multiplication this is n minus 1 okay so this plus 1 and minus 1 okay remove so this is n square if i multiply n with inner n square minus n divided by 2 that is n square minus n divided by 2 okay for c5 for example i just make it once time this minus 1 plus 1 cancel and this is n square minus n divided by 2 minus 1 that is n square minus n divided by 2 minus 1 and similarly for c6 c7 and c8 okay this similar so overall you you see that the overall the maximum value is n square then n okay so overall expression is in form of a n square plus b n plus c okay so by ignoring the all the low level terms so the complexity is of big o of n square that is worst case so the worst case complexity is o n square so what's about the best case okay so for example we have an array in this form that is already sorted in descending order in best case for example this is 10 9 7 6 5 already sorted so if i again check the algorithm then this is the outer for loop this should be executed n time okay so basically it should be checked okay inside the outer for loop there is a logic so it must be run n time and this is also n minus 1 this is also n minus 1 and this loop not run basically our array is already sorted in best case okay so this condition fails so it will break the this loop and our code execution not going inside this loop okay so and so what's about the best case this loop not run so our time is just c1 n this is the best case that is t of n c1 of n 
plus c2 of n minus 1 plus c3 of n minus 1 similar okay and not c4 basically it not goes inside the this uh, while loop okay so this one and if i more solve this equation that is c1 of n plus c2 of n minus c2 i just multiply this c2 with inner term and similar c3 n minus c3 you see that the maximum term that is used that is the power of 1 that is n okay so the expression in the form of a of n plus b so by neglecting the constant okay just name it c okay so constant so the in best case the complexity is big o of n that is best case so in best, uh, best case the insertion sort complexity is big o of n and in worst case the complexity is big of n square so hope you will understand so that's all if you have any questions regarding to this topic don't hesitate and ask a question you can email me or you can comment in video description thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos. Stay blessed. Have a nice day.